Hey Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. Happy Saturday. So I'm going to be doing a reading in the time frame for the next three days. December, I was going to say December, November 27th to the 29th. All right. So if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, click on the notification bell so you're notified every single time that I post. All right. It seems like you've been um, getting people that are testing your 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 fate and your emotions lately, Virgo. It's like someone could be trying you, okay, and you'd be like, "Don't test my gangsta." Okay, because a motherfucker don't know, like, you you got kung fu under your belt, okay? Someone may have tried to come around your house, play with your doorknob, trying to intimidate you to try to um, come into your home. So it's like, don't test my gangsta. I will really get it on and pop in here. All right, that's only going to be for some of you. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind. We're going to get into the read with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North, No. Cross watchers, you are allowed, but with the right intent and energy, okay? As I tell my Virgos, be sure to take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If you're not sure about what I am talking about, then don't make assumptions. Get your ass in the comment section and ask questions first, all right? That goes out to my cross watchers here okay let's see what's going on for virgo okay so some of you are messing with a leo right now or someone has leo in their chart don't let pride get in your way okay at the bottom of the deck we have bring love into a situation so what i'm really getting here is that for some of you it's like you have this big ego or an ego about you where you know, it kind of, um, it's, it kind of substitutes from you doing something or moving something forward here because of the way that you feel about a particular person, place, or thing. So depending on what your experience is with or whom, it's like your ego gets in the way of you wanting to experience it for the second time around or the third time around here all right so let's see what else is going on for virgo we have relaxation someone here likes to read someone could be a bookworm or getting into expanding their vocabulary i'm getting potential someone could have a potential suitor or thinks that this potential suitor is hiding certain things that is going on in their life here. Uh, I see somebody kicking back and relaxing today or during this time frame or someone has, you know, work off for the next few days and just wants to, you know, be by themselves, just chilling, relaxing without a care in the world. We have transformation in reverse. So it looks like something here that you're trying to change or um, willing to see something different with or something in the way. It's like your, your energy is right now wanting to be still here, okay? I think that you're sitting back and letting something marinate until you get your, you reach enlightenment for something, okay? I'm getting for some of you, you're not planning to go out of the country. Yeah, we have potential coming back out again. So Virgo, you have a potential, you have so much potential in your future and you thriving. I do see success here and standstill. So not only are we getting stillness and standstill, but we're getting that something is about to thrive. So I'm getting here that whatever this is that's in delay within your transformation you're not supposed to change something something is not uh needing to be fixed here okay or changed 
I think that you were looking for confirmation. So for some of you, that is your confirmation right there. Let's see what else there is for Virgo. I'm hearing someone's name is Patricia, Patrice. What else is here for Virgo? So we have trust. Trust and miracles. So because of you not making any sudden moves and trusting yourself, there is so much potential in your future or whatever is going on around you that it's creating a lot of flow in your energy. You've taken your power back from someone that was not willing to give you some type of truth or what has changed in their life, okay? I'm seeing this big sign I don't know if there's like you going out shopping or something right now, but I'm seeing like a big sign that says season's greetings. I know that's really random, but that's what I'm seeing here. I don't know, I'm getting something about the Bahamas. Someone could be going to the Bahamas or live there. somewhere nice and hot I'm jealous and to those of you guys that have been uh, hit me up in the comment section thank you guys so much I really do appreciate each and every single one of you all right whether you're an old subscriber or new I really do appreciate each and every one of you here okay I'm even hearing something about the Dominican Republic. Like, what's with all these hot, exotic places? Okay, so we have courage in reverse, taking risks in reverse, going forward. So what I'm getting from these three cards here is that you didn't feel confident in moving forward with something, but you are going in the right direction moving forward, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on here. In the Kipper for Virgo, November 27th to the 29th for Virgo. So we have pathway in reverse. There could have been you making a mistake that may have been shortly lived around stability, your home, or something like that. Someone here is too relaxed at home. You may be headed down a path that could affect your stability here. Someone is just too comfortable, all right? And we don't want that. We wanna strive for you know, you to push yourself to be the best version every single year. Yeah, I'm getting gift in reverse number 17 one plus seven is eight so when it comes to your power someone wants to strip you of your gifts or someone wants a gift to be stripped from you and this could be a spiritual gift or um something that's tangible someone wants to strip you of your gift and it's someone that's in your community here yeah someone wants you to be around worry homeless whoever this is um, they don't even want you to have a man around you in your life. I'm sensing a lot of jealousy. Like, someone is definitely trying to try you. Okay? And they better not. They better not. We have main male in reverse. So, whoever this main male is in reverse, this is someone that you don't kick it with at all. They're going to the courthouse. Someone wants something in writing or there is a decision that needs to be made very shortly. Someone here could be in their thoughts about what's going on in the community since they haven't been around you. Why is 
is this person all up in your energy, Virgo? Okay, so we have false person. So there's someone here that's a fake ass bitch or a fake ass hole. Fake ass nuggle. All right. This person is lying about what they have. They ain't got shit. They have a criminal record. And they're just looking for a hidden and quitted type of type of situation. They message you when they want to, only to get your great fortune. Okay? journey so I'm getting here you're going places you could be going on a trip wanting to moving um, just wanting more out of life this could be expansion um, uh, something that you're needing like a blueprint or guide to something here all right whatever this journey is Someone's losing their wealth and having to work for whatever it is that they that they want. So someone went from being rich to needing to work a nine to five. Okay, someone could be in bad health here. And it could be concerning. This is a divine masculine though. Could be a feminine, but I'm getting masculine. Someone's name is Clive, C-L-I-V-E. Okay, so someone's concerned about their position in their job, their work, something stressful here. Someone has been uh, searching for a job right now and they're getting really antsy because they need the money. But just know that whatever it is that you're going through financially, you're going through for a reason, all right? There is unexpected income and also great fortune that's coming towards you. But it's like there's an official person that you don't deal with that wants to take this from you because we have these two coming out and then these two after it. I think that there is someone that's double teaming in your energy to take all your riches and for you to go to rags, okay? And that ain't happening. That's just not what's about to happen because I believe in karma and karma comes back around tenfold here, all right? There's someone that wants whatever it is or however you get your money. Look, blessed is on the bottom of the deck. Nothing but blessings coming your way, Virgo. And someone wants it because they think that you're getting too many opportunities even when you have, you know, pit stops along the way. Okay, so we have truth be told. Okay, there's something that you need to know that you may be too laid back on. Okay, and I think the only way that you're going to be at peace is if you know some type of truth. Someone here is not for you. Okay, I was just talking about this. I was just talking about this. Someone's coming to terms that, you know, the truth is the truth. The truth will set you free. If you don't set this person free, you will never find true love. Period. Don't let because of your past situation with this, this person, your last person that you broke up with, that you, you don't give yourself a chance to have love. Because everybody deserves love. The fate's coming out here. I can't make this up. Number 17 could be significant to someone. Okay, so we have message in a bottle. So someone here may have tried to message you or reach out to you and you haven't answered it or you left them on red here. Okay, I just think that you're, I'm hearing that song Undecided by Chris Brown. Yeah, someone here feels 
undecided about you, but they know that they have some connectivity to you, which is the soulmate energy. They just don't know how to approach it. But undecided by Chris Brown could be significant here. I'm also hearing that song Possessive by Chris Brown as well. Someone's name is Alicia. We have Chopped Wood, number 42. And we have The Tribe in Reverse. So whoever this person that you thought had the potential to love you is not your divine counterpart and things need to end, okay? Whoever this person is is not willing to give you what you deserve. They're just going to keep showing you or giving you, you know, fuck boy or fuck girl bullshit, all right? As much as you may want to mend something, they're always going to be in this low vibrational energy. They're never going to ascend here the way that you want things to. And that's just the reality of it. Okay. We have the tribe, number eight. This makes this may make you feel uncomfortable, but this is the judgment here from your spiritual ancestors and guides. It's time to get realistic and start looking elsewhere for love. All right? Or this is something that your person may want to do if they're holding on to your energy. Okay, so we have Yang. You're in a very stable um, emotional state right now. I see that things are very balanced or that is what you're practicing. Someone could be very uh, artistic or someone could be uh, into acrobatics, aerobics, whatever this is. I do see building blocks, so I think that you're working on something here. This could be a project, uh, personal growth, power, uh, something like that here. Yeah, whatever the issues you have in your life, it's like you're working on those. Let's see here. November 27th to the 29th for Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know currently? Sun, Moon, Venus rising. North node for Virgo. Okay, so we have making plans. You could be planning to move forward on how you're going to move past this past life connection. I do see you getting an upgrade in your finances, building your account, wealth, or blessings here. That's really good news. So you're about to get money. We have manipulation, controlling, toxic. There's an energy about this person or about you that comes off as just feeding off of um, vulnerability of others, okay? You need a fresh start from this. So there's a new beginning taking place. What else is here for Virgo? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo, Holy Spirit, November 27th to the 29th. So here we have cosmic gift. Spirit sees all of the efforts and the ability to understand the enlightenment process, okay? Which is why you're being given either a material gift or a cosmic gift. Your blessings are coming in within the next few weeks. So get ready here, all right? Yep. Yeah. 
maybe your gifts that you have spiritually will be heightened in the next few weeks. What else is here? So we have a secret admirer. Someone here that likes you is watching you. They've had their eye on you for quite some time and they think you're pretty cool. You're someone that they've been watching on social media but haven't really come out to like a picture because that would be one step closer to you knowing uh, that they've been paying attention to you. So they're kind of like behind the scenes. Or it seems like you and this person aren't following each other on social media. We have introverted. So there's a lot that you may not be saying or holding back from. You've been closed off and hung up on some things that you're not ready to let go of here. That's not always good. We have unexpected surprise, shocking news. And at the bottom of the deck, we have meditation. Meditate, intuition, introspection. So there's a big change that's coming soon, but it has nothing to do with this, like anything intimate. But um, it could be some significance from someone from your past. Someone could be making changes in their own life, wanting to tell you all about it, or vice versa, okay? Why is unexpected news coming out here? Unexpected surprise, shocking news. Why is this here for Virgo? Unexpected surprise, shocking news. One of your children could be uh, getting a surprise from you or someone else here, but this could also be for you. Okay, so we have the chariot. Someone's going to be getting a new car or there's going to be a move. Uh, uh, someone could also be getting another pet here for some type of hard work that's being pushed to the forefront. So it seems like there's a level of achievement where you get a prize. We already have gift out here. Material gift, cosmic gift, blessings. Someone's name is Gerard, J-A-R-R-O-D, Gerard. Give us more collective messages for Virgo. Or Virgo, please. I did see bully on the bottom of the deck. Someone thinks that they could intimidate you. Someone may be struggling with low self-esteem or their self-worth and dropping their ego, needing to do, do this here. The cards fell on the floor. So, what I'm getting here, Virgo, is that someone is not looking into something because there's no reason to. I also got schedule on the bottom of the deck. Someone hasn't been going towards doing something on time or trying to make time for something here. Someone hasn't been writing in their agenda 
or their schedule book here for certain events that um, are important. I'm hearing something about important dates or events. We have stubbornness number 77. So someone could be arrogant at this time. Someone's just, you know, stuck in their own ways, being selfless, selfness. I'm hearing there's no winning with you when you're stuck in your own way, okay? We have merit making in reverse. So someone was really bad to you and they now see the errors of their ways. So they're coming back with an apology or you will be apologizing to someone that you've done to them. Okay. I do see that there will be a turnaround with your finances because here comes the real estate card. Someone's going to try to come in to disturb this, to disturb your home. Don't tell anybody the moves that you're making here. Okay. Because once they know that, they're going to try to do some spell work or magic for this not to turn out for you. It's time to move in silence, baby. Period. I see saving. So after the Christmas holidays, y'all need to start saving here. I know, you know, presents are something that, you know, we give a certain time in the year. But there's something about savings that you need to start doing because there's a lot that's going out and coming back in, okay? Let's see here. What's to come for Virgo? Okay, so you feel overloaded or stressed out. You feel like you're taking on a lot. Number 67. There's a lot of obligations or deadlines that you're trying to meet, which is why uh, evidence in reverse and schedule came out. So you haven't been going on schedule. You've just been doing things as they come at you. And this could drive you into the ground here. All right. You could very well feel burnt out. Stress is the number one killer. Walk away from that shit. One more for Virgo. So we have endorsement. So what I'm seeing here, Virgo, is endorsement number 52. So it's like you're not impressed by whoever this person is that was in a marriage but failed. It's like they're trying to bully you to gain something from you. But you're not afraid of them. And you're starting to stand up for yourself. And just to let you know... This person just sees you as a as a prize or uh, a trophy that they can just take off the shelf when they want and come back around to get something only to, uh, you know, treat you like you're a complete stranger or like they don't know you. So at this point, don't let this person come back to use you here, okay? Because I do see a lot of gains and someone trying to come in between what is for you or trying to take this away from you here. First card coming out, we have Torch. I'm not surprised. So there is some spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Okay, so I'm getting here that you're picking up on someone that likes you here, that will push you in the right direction to play another role in whatever it is that you do. Okay, whoever this is, they want to take you out. They want to get to know you. We have October. So there's something about October that could be significant here. I am seeing that you were disappointed disappointed in someone in the month of October when it came to money or the effort that they put in you could have felt like you were the breadwinner and they were trying to give you a raise or a job so now we're in December there is some type of victory that you will be getting okay
Hey, city of staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. The outcome is happiness. All right. The number 28 could be significant to you all. I'm not sure why. We have claw. Do not take any risks. Okay. Because there's something that has to do with a younger woman or someone may be trying to befriend you. This could have happened in the month of May or coming up around January, okay? There is a new opportunity, possibilities, and paths opening up for you. Money will be coming to you. Here's coins. So there's two different people. There's a younger man and a, a younger woman. I don't think that there's going to be a coincidence that you're meeting this person. Someone... It has been watching you and inserting themselves in your lives to, uh, it's like there's a strategy here, okay? We have older man. So there's dealings or relationship with an older man. Some of you could be dating someone that's significantly older than you. That's typically your type or maybe this is what you want at this time. Or I'm getting something with a father. Someone's trying to reconcile their differences that they had with a parent here okay it's going to take a lot of work but you're needing to work together to get through this all right okay so we have apple temptation will test you mm. and we have teardrops great personal sorrow so there's something you're going to be very upset about you may have uh, did some pillow talking or told someone, opened up to someone here, and, and, and this person found this as an opportunity to fuck with you, all right? December to February, yeah. Take care. Enemies are working against you. They're trying to block you. I can't make this up. Someone's trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want here, okay? Someone here feels like the easier route is to befriend you, to get certain things out of you, or to figure out what moves you're making before you make them. So there's a need to move in silence here, all right? Let's see what's going on. I'm actually going to choose from my majestic oracle messages just to see what's going on. I haven't done this in quite some time. So what do we have for Virgo, November 27th to the 29th here? What is it that Virgo needs to know currently? All right. So we have Thirst Trap here. Someone feels like you're gonna fall for it, that you that you'll you'll they'll be able to come to your house to try to take money from you or try to convince you that they haven't if they did come over when in fact they did, because you're very selective about the people that you have over your home. Yeah, we have monitoring spirits that came out and strong. Someone wants you to drop your guard so that they can come in here. They want you to think that they're this honest person. This is some demonic type shit, bro. Yeah, I'm hearing that you need to stay focused here because someone wants to have their own way with you. They don't want you to be able to be strong enough to make any decisions. We have credit card fraud, fraudulent activity. Someone needs to uh, call into their credit card company to see what the activities are on your card so that you know that everything is good. Okay? I've been getting that card for a, 
quite some time too. Credit card fraud. We have enabler. So there's an older man that you feel like enables you or you enable them so that they keep doing the same shit that they're doing. All right. Beware of people doing things behind your back or doing something uh, when you're not looking. Always be aware of your surroundings. I always do that, whether I'm out in the public or, you know, doing whatever. I'm always looking around me. I'm always focused. Okay? So we have bona fide freak and broken telephone. So it seems like uh, someone's talking about your sex life or portraying you as this sex symbol or a bona fide freak here okay or you may be getting a phone call and someone gossiping about being freaky uh something like that but there's something that was misinterpreted or switched around in what you meant versus what they said that you said something like that here Someone's about to be off the market. Number 82. And like I said, you're making updates or upgrades. All right? So whatever it is that's happening in your life right now, and somebody's job, their nine to five is just to make sure that you don't make it. But you gonna make it, honey. You gonna make it in the name of Jesus. All right? They can't stop shit, period. What is the tea talk? What's in tea talk for Virgo, November 27th to the 29th? So we have exercise, trip to the gym. We have an uncle. Okay. So if it's not a father that's the older man, it's the uncle. A lot of you are focusing on your body and working out and making sure that you stay proportionate and you know controlling how much you eat for some of you here, all right? Some of you may wanna to tone up, lose a couple pounds, or just working on something in particular in the gym. I did mention aerobics or something like that. Someone could be flexible. Pilates, yoga. Someone could be trying to diminish stressors that are going on in their personal life. We have uncle too. There's an uncle that's going to be delivering some type of message or relaying a message. Okay, so we have adoption in reverse and getting their license. Okay. So there's something about um, a Virgo that may be getting an, a, a car registered in their name or transferring a car into their name or something like that. But someone may not want to do that, or they are. You let me know in the comment section below. So we have celebrity status. Okay, so there's someone here that has reached celebrity status, or someone sees you in the spotlight, and I think you get social anxiety, okay? I think that someone's uh, angle is to try to expose you now that you're in the limelight. Okay, someone wants to destroy your career that you built from the ground up. Because I see hidden secrets, scandalous past. So they're trying to dig up anything that they can on you or to befriend you to get information out of you here. This is low right down and fucking dirty. Yep, 
I'm getting for some of you, if you've been working on your license, there's going to be a title change that will be in your name. I think this is what you may need, may need help with, or you may be talking to your father or your uncle about. So congratulations on getting your license. That is always an accomplishment. Let's get into this reading, girl. What's going on? Okay, three of pentacles. So there's like a group type of uh, dynamic or people that you work with or that you're close to. Uh, someone is into being a rapper or a singer. Someone has a studio session. And... Um, has a lot of decisions to make surrounding uh, taking charge, putting effort into something. What else is here for Virgo? November 27th to the 30th. Or 27th to the 29th. I'm sorry. We have Page of Wands. You have a female, a divine feminine, or a female that feels like you're getting all the praise for things that you do, and they feel super tired of it. Someone's in their feelings but hiding it here. Someone here wants you to get let go or discharge from a job or something that you like to do or someone wants you to follow or someone wants to you know have some type of fallout with you here yeah and I think whoever this person is they're gonna be talking to the boss about it we have the page of cups so there's someone here that has an emotional uh, connection to you that wants to message you here Okay, but it may not go through. There's a missed call that's going to happen. What else is here for Virgo? What else is there that we need to know? So, we have the Queen of Swords. You're upset, you're pissed off because someone's trying to take food out of your mouth by spreading gossip, lies, and trying to get in your way of you making your, your money, of you collecting the bag, all right? I do see here that there's going to be someone that is very, um, comes off as very romantic, Rico Suave type energy to take a hold of the Empress, which is you, Virgo. Someone wants a shot with you but they're afraid that there is just so much going on behind the scenes that they're going to have to just hope and pray for the best. Someone's leaving a baby mother or a baby father. Someone could be a single parent here. We have the eight of wands. So there's the delay. Someone feels like they can't put all of their their effort into something that they love to do because of things that are happening outside of that that may be distracting to them. okay so I think the way that you're dealing with it is to distract yourself with a person that may not even be good for you all right don't let this past person come back and watch out for these new motherfuckers too, okay? Everyone is proven guilty until they're innocent, okay? Period. Don't trust anybody. A lot of you know that you're very special. There's something about your birth chart or um, about you. There's something that's very different and rare that there's just only one of you. You can't be duplicated here. 
all right? Give me one more for Virgo, November 27th to the 29th. You're getting karma for every bad thing that someone has done to you. And I think you're going to see this as like a sign or synchronicity in numbers or hearing it directly from spirit, okay? I get that you're avoiding moving forward, but you will be able to as long as you heal, okay? So that's what I have here for your current messages. Virgo, hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.